Hello there guys and gals, if it's everyone backwards here and I'm back with yet another 100% achievement slash trophy guide and today we are going for everything in Without Escape, a fun little point and click tense horror game developed by Bumpy Trails Games, published by East Asia Soft and available to buy for just £4.19 in the UK and $4.99 in the US. Now honestly this game would be fun to do on your own anyway and would take about 2-3 to three hours, but since you're here and following this guide it'll only take you about 20-30 to 30 minutes if not a little bit less. Now of course we will get every achievement slash trophy on the way and I have tried going at an average pace so you can keep up with me instead of me rushing ahead and doing it in 10 minutes but you've got to keep pausing the video to see where you're at. <laughs> so with that being said then let us begin and immediately the first thing we need to do is go to the left on the lamp right there and memorize that number. Well you don't have to memorize it but we can. Go to the main door then and we are heading back downstairs into the living room which is on the right hand side here. And this is where we'll get our first achievement. So the phone is on the left hand side. Remember that number that you typed in 666 uh, 3498. And that will be our first achievement then. Nice and easy cheesy does it then. And then to back up what you have to do is just go off the phone and then press the uh, A button with the arrow. For some reason it took me a while to realize that so just go to the right of the phone go to the arrow and then we are done click on the grandfather clock next and we we'll basically be memorizing the time right there and go ahead click on the tv and that will be another achievement unlocked and there'll be a key in the bookcase above it so as you can tell this is already just bam 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 we completely just go pretty fast through everything but like I said I go at a sort of average pace so you guys can keep up like I said instead of having to pause the video to see where you're at so now we're going back up the stairs then and the way to do that just click on the stairs and you end up going back up into the bedroom the second door on the right which we were first in and go ahead and click on the slippers there for another achievement and then directly after that, all you have to do is click on the door because we're going back out now. And we're heading back down the stairs and back into the living room. There is a little something on the left there. A, um, a leveler. That's it. I was going to call it a lever for some reason. It's not that. Close enough though. Head back up the stairs and back into the bedroom this time. And like I said, it's literally just up and down, up and down, here, there, everywhere. Get a new battery then from the uh, chest of drawers right there, directly in front of the bed. And click on the uh, picture frame on the right to get a lighter. Some, you know, some random items just popping out all over the place here. And we are heading back downstairs once again then. So again, go back into the living room. And this time go into the sort of darker area here, which is on the left hand side. Click on the jacket on the left and oh, jacket or whatever, shirt, jacket, coat, whatever. It's all the same thing. You've got to wear it. And on the right there, you just found a little vase or something with a key in it. Again, random places these items keep popping up. With that then, we can head back up the stairs and go into the door on the left this time. And all seems normal, all seems quiet, so we can click on the chest of drawers and we get some pliers out of there. And then we can just simply head back out before the TVs that will come on automatically, so don't worry about that. So let us head back into the bedroom right now then and go into the bathroom this time right at the back wall. Have a look in the toilet. Yum yum. Delicious. There's a key in there for some reason. Somebody's gotten a bad obsession with hiding keys and random stupid places. Head back down the stairs then and now we'll open up this sort of little water valve right here. We'll be pushing that so we'll turn the water back on. So with that go back upstairs, back into the bedroom and then back into the bathroom again. Uh, what we could do with that then, there is something on the right hand side, click on the toilet again and now we should be good to go, so go back out of the bedroom, go back down the stairs and the reason I do this is actually you will be getting a, an achievement for just going 
back up the stairs. That's basically just for going up and down the stairs ten times, which you should have got. You should you'll get that anyway naturally, but I thought I'd just get it out the way there. So actually head back into the bathroom now. And on the sink there, on the left hand side, you'll pick up another item. I accidentally click on the toilet, but that's just me trying to escape, but there's a toilet in my way. Uh, you know, apparently, you know, it's a bit hard when it's a point and click game, but you get a bit stupid, you, you can't get past toilets. Um, <laughs> anyway, we're moving out now, moving back out of the bedroom, we've been in here enough times now. Back down the stairs, and with this then, we will be going into the sort of middle of the doors there, into the kitchen. Click on the oven and you'll get another key. Why someone's hiding the key in the oven, I do not know, it's a bit stupid. But now we'll head back out, going back upstairs and going to the very, very right hand door there, upstairs into this, into the sort of living quarters or whatever people want to call this room. Looking at the bookcase, there should be a little um, something for us to open, so use this code. The code is exactly the same every time, which is 1956, and you'll get another battery. So this is the only time we need to come in here now, so we'll head once again back down the stairs into the living room and get the remote control on the table and that will play just a little cutscene. So we're back in the bedroom, so we'll escape here now, only this time we're in for a little surprise. Dun dun dun, it's all hell. It's basically hell. So go back into the bedroom, because now you've basically just shit yourself, which you would. Which is unsurprising, really. Uh, click on the speaker next to the doors, you will get a little test tube. Luckily it's full of nothing, because I know how depraved these games can be. Go into the door on the left, and this is a room we'll come back to a few times later on. So have a look on the table on the uh, on the right. You'll get a beaker as well. Tons of items. He must have a carrier bag or something on him. This guy, or girl, of course, or non-binary. You know, I'm all subject to stuff. Go back into your bedroom. Luckily, our bedroom's at least a safe haven. Into the bathroom, and this time it's something all kinds of messed up in here. Um, click on the sort of long tube pipe right in front of you on the left right there. You'll get some grease. Grease me up, woman! Willy from The Simpsons, epic quote. And go back into the left-hand side room, and this time we'll use the valve, be, uh, be turning the valve. Now exit here, and don't worry, your game hasn't crashed. Like, I genuinely thought I did the first time, and I I actually pooped myself, so well done, the guys and gals who made this. That was, a, that was a good little troll there, to be honest. Head back downstairs, it's still looking even hellish down here, into what's supposed to be the living room, and go into the sort of dark little area we were in before, where we seen the shirt, grab the key. At the bottom, we'll grab a wooden plank, and before you go back up, on the right hand side, there's a little something we can put in the beaker on the wall, which is just right there. And the door at the end will be going through that just a little bit later on then. So head back up the stairs now. And again. And uh, what we'll be doing this time is heading straight back up the stairs and into our bedroom once again. So now that we're in our bedroom, let's go back into the bathroom and just go ahead and click on the bath there. We're going to be getting yet another item, uh, the big, uh, blood with resin, yum yum. The left hand side right there on the arch, we'll be getting a nice bit of organ. So we'll be... <laughs> does look nice, doesn't it? But I am starving right now, so I'm not surprised. We're heading back out, we're going back downstairs and into the living room once again. By the way, I'm always starving, I'm a fat bastard. Uh, click on the eye on the left hand side, we'll be getting an achievement for that one then. And we're heading back up the stairs again. To be fair, this guy must be knackered by now, all this going up and up and down stairs. Now, with this bit then, click on the TV. And this is obviously supposed to be um, some sort of puzzle, which you're obviously, you would need to think of. 
but we're just blasting through it. So <laughs> back downstairs into the living room, click on these clocks right here, and we'll be putting in a time now, which is 0435. So that sort of unlocks a latch for us. So now we're going back up the stairs and we're gonna click on the speaker, which is in between the two doors now. So when that finally decides to chill out, go back into your bedroom, we're gonna be looking at the clock on the chest of drawers in front of the mirror, which says quarter to three. And we're going back downstairs into the living room to look at all the clocks on the wall again. We're putting in another code. And this time then it's 0745. And once that one is done then, click back on the eye to get a key and another achievement. So we're going back up the stairs, going into the left hand side room. Now this is the only sort of random bit of the game. Now it's going to tell you um, to put in a number which is the atomic number of something. Now it's going to be different for absolutely everybody. For me, I honestly thought it was an L, but just at the bottom there, the atomic number of, for me it was I, which is 53. So if you go into Google, type in the atomic number of whatever yours comes up with, and then that'll come up with a number you can use in just a tiny, tiny little bit. So just remember that is random and it will be different for everyone. So Google's your best friend on that because I wouldn't have a goddamn clue. So now we're going back downstairs into the left hand side door now, the very left door, which we haven't been through yet. But that brings us back into the real world, which is just lovely. Go into the door directly in front of you and this is where we'll be using the atomic number. So because I thought it was L, and there's no atomic number for L, I didn't have a bloody clue what it was for ages. But apparently it was an I, so, you know, be aware that sometimes that might happen. So once you know what the number is, then just type in whatever it is. For me, again, it was 53. If you try and type in something else, this next bit won't work for you. So that's why it is quite important. Click on the uh, sort of chest of drawers there to get a piece of medallion go back into our bedroom we'll be getting another piece of medallion from the cupboard on the left go into the bathroom and then click on the sink twice and that will basically somehow a bit of warm water will fuse and mend these two medallion pieces together which is hilarious Ever get stuck on something, just stick it under some lukewarm water, you know, you'll be fine then. Uh, it always works. So back down the stairs once again then into the hellish section of our life. And into the next door, which is on the left hand side anyway, and we'll be going into this... Back into the, where the kitchen is, instead this time we've got... Well, that wasn't there before. So now we've got a lovely little portal to contend with then. So what you can do then is click on this, the, the two sinks that are right there. Make sure to click on both of them, especially the right hand side sink, because that actually activates a switch which we need. So if you're gonna click on the two of them, click on the both sinks and that will sort us out. And we're going back downstairs, back into the living room now and into the sort of dark area once again. Only this time we'll be going straight through the door and that is what the sync activation switch did for us then. So now we're into this, well, extra hellish bit with a load of fans. Click on the little thing in the middle right there. Just move on to the left and we'll be getting another achievement and we'll only have one more left to get now as soon as you click on this lift to get us over to said portal. And there's only two more things to do before we reach the end of the game now, so there's two computers that we've got to input relevant numbers to. So the, click on the left hand side one first, and the solution for this then is uh, 50, 37.5, 75, and 62.5. So just go ahead, input those numbers as you can see on the solution on the left hand side, using the up and down ar arrows to change it, and the left and right arrows to go, well, left and right. <laughs> So 
So that's the first lot done then. Go to the right hand side computer now and input 50, 50, 50 and 100. And that is that. Then you click on the poll and we are done with the game. So there we go then guys and gals, congratulations on another thousand and another platinum. I hope you've enjoyed this game, I hope you've enjoyed the video guide as well. And of course if it has helped and you did enjoy, don't forget of course to like, comment and subscribe. I do take any um, game request guides if anyone wants to see any 100% game guides done. So just let me know in the comments below for anything. And if that's all there is, then we are good to go. Peace out homies, see you in the next one. Big love.